St. John. Copeland to Deacon St. John. We got a job for you. Hey, Copeland. Okay. Yeah, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. Uh-oh. I should stop for fuel. Hey, bro. How's it going? Hey, you know, hanging in there. It's early. Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. Just... I'm trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, think. Here, come here, I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh. Yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula angustifolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loan, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth. Go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hands. All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower. All right. And then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. Yeah, I pulled weeds before. Excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. And blood apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. That's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those, and I'm going to collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh, my... Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with the farms about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. There's more over here. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, that's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. So, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay, 
Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer. Wow, look at you. Being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers. One fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? Okay, you try picking some now. Lavender. You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. <sighs> oh. <laughs> for you. Wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. Mm. If it's not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey! Oh, 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 oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey! All right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. Now you're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer for myself on the way over. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm a little out of it. What, you said something? It's, uh, it's something Sarah showed me a few summers ago before... Yeah. Anyway, uh, there's a plant that grows out here called lavender. It grows in the shade, along rivers, lake shores. I'm gonna see if I can find some. Shit, brother. The way my arm's feeling, I'll try anything, but... Fuck the lavender, bring something I can smoke. Whatever, I'm gonna find some of this shit, I'm gonna make a burn salve out of it, and you're gonna shut the hell up about it. Okay. I'm sorry, brother. Just going stir crazy up here, you know? Ah, don't worry, booze man. We're riding north, I swear to God, not too much longer. You hear me? Yeah, out. Mask. 
grave. Why'd they bury this shit out here again? Oh, yeah, because they're assholes.
Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it! Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. We were picking lavender, and uh, she Please. taught... <laughs> She taught me how to make this sap for Burns and, uh... Look, I got out today. Okay? I actually had a look around the mound. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey. Just give me a couple days. Okay? Just... We'll ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah. I've seen him around. You there? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We got hit. And hard. Rippers. A couple of dozen, maybe more. Goddamn rippers. That little gal you were so worried about? Yeah, Lisa. Wait, hold on. What happened? Where's Lisa? Gone. They took her and three others. Alki followed him as far as he could. But they're holed up in Belknap Crater. He came back to round up more men, but... God damn it! Okay, look, I've seen what those sons of bitches do to hostages. I'm not waiting. Hey, been seeing you around more. Manny, what's going on? Yo, you need fuel? Should have more stuff later. Hey, see got a problem. Hey, man. Good to see ya. Hey there. Yes. You do the killing. I'll do the counting. See ya. That's it. Beak. Good. Got something you might be interested in. Yeah, don't bet on it, Cope. I'm busy. Too busy to hear about a ripper camp? Here? In the Cascade Wilderness? Rippers up here? <sighs> Where? Thought you might be what? interested. Oh, I heard how you this? and Boozer got hit by it. It smells in fact, really bad. I haven't seen Boozer around much, have I? Where, Cope? Up by Separation Meadow. Flack, you know her, don't you? Saw him firsthand. Past their camp when she was out on a supply run. Don't worry. <sighs> I'll take care of him. What? I didn't think I'd see you around so much. What's going on? What? Not enough credits? See ya. Who's man are you awake? Boozer. Yeah, Deke. Just feeling a little out of it, you know? Look, I'm on my way up to Separation Meadow. Cope says there's a ripper camp up there. Rippers? This far north? Yeah, Boozer. What the hell's going on with these guys? Alki said the rippers were looking for us. That we had a price on our head. What the hell? How's that possible? I mean, 
Sure, I've, I've killed my share of crazy bastards, but I never went out of my way. Uh, not that I remember. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, rippers. Deacon out. That is the one mind. Be free. Yeah. Why don't you find the path? They're dead, asshole. They won't be joining your goddamn cult. Free rule the world, huh? Not if they're all dead. Jesus, what the hell is wrong with you freaks? No, 
She's not in here. Where are you, Lisa? She's got to be out here somewhere. From the police. Carlos has told me to listen. To listen to the voices. No one is joining you! Hey, look. Now you're found, yeah? This is a goddamn maze. Here, they dragged her up here. Lisa's gotta be up there. I'm coming, kid.
us. You are not hiding from us. <laughs> Lisa. All right, Lisa. Oh, Jesus, what have they done to you? Lisa. Lisa? Hey. Sweetheart. No! Hey, hey, no! hey! Shut up, shut up! Lisa, it's me. It's Deacon. Remember? Deacon? Okay. All right. That's all right. It's all right. Come on. You okay? Do you know where the visitor center is? All right, that's where my bike is. I need you to run air as fast as you can. Don't stop. Don't stop. All right, don't stop, no matter what. You ready? Huh? Go. my bike. Run. We're safe now. Are you okay? No. Listen to me. To the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the Hot Springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be alone there. This is a nice camp, and it's a safe place. Okay. Hold on.
Ricky. Ricky, come back. Ricky, are you still on this channel? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon? Long time no here. What do you want? Just meet me, okay? On the Cascade Highway where it intersects with the old Belknap Road. I'm heading there now. You know what Iron Mike said? The night you and Booze rode out of here? Uh, oh uh, yeah. That. Uh, listen, that's why I radioed you and not Schizo. Iron Mike doesn't even have to know about this. I got a kid here. What? Well, I mean, not a kid, uh, a survivor. She's been out here a long time. A, a, you've got a survivor, and you're bringing her to Lost Lake. No, you're bringing her to Lost Lake. I'm bringing her to you. Ricky, you there? Yeah, okay. I'm on my way. Lost Lake out. Ricky? Uh, yeah, okay. You're welcome. You're gonna like it there, kid. So like I said, Iron Mike, he's, um, uh, he likes to yell a lot. Look, don't let him bother you. You got that? Uh, anyway, there's this guy named Schizo. If he bothers you at all, well, just tell Ricky. Or, uh, tell Addie. She's the camp's doctor. You tell her. And Addie's, she's good. She's got medicine, you know, to clean up those, uh, clean up those cuts. I mean, you don't want to get infected. They're gonna help you out, kid. You can count on them, even if you, uh, you know, even if you screw up. All right. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is uh, Ricky. She's going to uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not going to pay you for this. Pay me for, oh, come on. That's not, excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. You just, mm -hmm. you just take her. Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with her? She was, had to run in with some rippers. I had to... Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? Yeah? Come on, I'm going to tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my god. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're going to have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, OK? Ready? I really appreciate it.
there. Hot springs to Deacon St. John. Tucker, I'm here. I expected you back by now. Did you find the girl, Lisa? No, Tuck. The, the uh, Rippers cut her up pretty bad. She, uh, she didn't make it. God damn it. We needed her. Now the digging's going to get even further behind. Well, look on the bright side, Tuck. One less mouth to feed, yeah? You get out there and find me some warm bodies, or there won't be any mouths left to feed. Tucker out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get right on that. We don't have the tools, but you're not You know? I mean, ever. Hey, Dick. What's up, Manny? I didn't think I'd you see you around something. so much. What's going on? You got a problem? Nice. That all you need? All right. Thanks. Cope says you've been helping out around the camp. A little saying, but he appreciates it. Hey, Manny. Okay, man. Thanks, man. <laughs>